Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Dan Fernandy from the Dan Band. Uh, so you got a gig coming up January 24th here in New York at BB King. BB Kings, right. keeping it real. Now who's who's in the band with you? Are they old friends of yours, or how'd you pick these guys? I don't get to know them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It was always oh. my thought that like Mick Jagger like talked to Bill Wyman three times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. On the way down the stairs. That's, that's how you gotta be. Like you're in my dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I have West Coast guys and East Coast guys because okay. I just moved here. Right. Oh, so you now live. Uh, you live in New York. Now. I keep doing the Peter Brady off the mic. Then it's you know. Don't with worry the one about headphone. it. Yeah. Is that so, when he was voice change or something? Yeah, time to change. Yeah, and he kept <laughs> time to change. That's where I learned it. I think it's where everyone learned. Because <laughs> does it really help if you do one ear on, one ear off? No, no, it doesn't help at all. And what's one leg up, one leg down? What is that? Where, I don't even know what that is. I don't either. Where the guys pull one. Is it to show you don't have a gun? You mean Were it's you... a broadcasting thing or something? It is a broadcasting thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Teddy Koppel started that? it back <laughs> in the <laughs> Connecticut School of Broadcasting didn't teach that? No. I don't know. I'm just going to one up, one you, down. I, I hope they're not a sponsor of ours because I went to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting and the, the reason I went was because I had I was on probation <laughs> and my, my probation officer said you need an activity because I didn't even have a job. I, I got arrested for attempted bank robbery when I was 19. It's a long story. Allegedly. It, it got uh, dropped to a disorderly conduct, but he said you have to do something. So I heard on Howard Stern, uh, the Connecticut School of Broadcasting, Broadcasting. And I went and I got in and I left after two months. I didn't know how to play a cassette. <laughs> <laughs> two months is a long time, though. Yeah, but I, I, had mean, a, I got a degree, though. Oh, wow. Well, I got a degree. Look at you. You got your own show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I did something right. Yeah, you're doing great. So, so now you, your band members are guys you, are you just guys you picked up who are good musicians and you needed them around? Or Yeah, I have two backup guys and then I got local musicians here. And I still have my old band in now. That's good for, yeah. for money, though. So you just pay local guys whatever their fee is. Yeah. And, yeah. You're like Chuck Berry. Yeah, I know. Here's your bag of money. Money. Shut up. <laughs> That's what Chuck Berry Two drink tickets. Do. You just really Chuck, <laughs> Chuck, <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Berry would get like 11 grand for a gig. And if he liked the band, he, he would just tell the promoter, get a local band to back me right, up. Right, right. And he would just tell the band like four seconds before they went on stage, we're going to play some Chuck Berry songs. <laughs> <laughs> and then if the band was good, he'd give a thousand to the band, and he'd keep ten. If he didn't like the band, he kept the whole eleven grand. And was it James Brown that would find people during the show? Yeah. Yeah. If they hit the wrong note, he'd be like ten dollars, and they just make like ten dollars off their check. Right. I mean, yeah. I'm saying, well, you're doing a pretty rock and roll thing. I like that. Yeah, man. I'm just pick up the money hardcore. You, you got to make money. What? Yeah. It's yeah. Hard. What was the, you were telling the story before the break about how you got into old school and how that whole song came about there? Look at you bringing it back. That I actually crazy. do want to interesting. interesting. Todd, like, Todd Phillips is obviously a fan of yours you're in a bunch of Todd's movies I know Todd he's a great guy like yeah. he, he picked me for old school and I love Todd because he's this hugely famous like insanely rich successful director but he talks to you like you're in high school with him like I, I saw right. on the set of old school Todd comes up to me, he's directing this enormous movie and he comes up to me and he goes hey man being on Stern you must get a lot of broads at like the Jersey Shore right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what's that like with chicks you know so I mean he wouldn't he see you somewhere or? yeah he came and saw yeah. this show that I'm doing at BB Kings on the 24th yeah yeah he, he saw that same show and um because Lord knows I don't update it, but um, <laughs> <laughs> why should you? I know it's like go yeah. see Grease. You want Sandy singing a new song? No, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Old school Beyonce, come on, yeah, come on. <laughs> but yeah, he saw that show and he was like, "Oh, I need a wedding singer. Do you want to be, you know, this? What are you working on?" I was like, "I'm working on Total Clips of the Heart, and, right? Uh, Private Dancer. Those are my two songs." And you know, a guy who's gonna have enough money in the budget. To get you the, because even if you do song parties, you need the rights to those songs right. in a film. So you know that guy's on the level where you can make it happen. Oh yeah, he could just when be we, funny. When we did Hangover, he suddenly was like, you know, oh, I want a second song. I should have had you guys do a second song. And um, he goes, do you have any songs? Do you have an instrumental? And I, of course, did because I'm such a band. Meaning an original song? No, no, like oh. a cover. Oh, okay. But he was like, oh, can you have your band play something? I'm like, that's not even my real band because, like I said, I'm like a band whore, <laughs> you know. And um, uh, I had it in my iPhone these tracks and I had a f I had fame the track of fame and so that's literally in the hangover it, it, they're plugged into this major motion picture they're plugged in they were like getting a you know I, a headphone jack that they plugged in and played it I, you know and I sang fame that so must like, yeah. be that it's must like be great like old oh, yeah. school and Elf. I call Elf my Christmas bonus as far as residuals are concerned. Being in hit movies, like I've been in a bunch of movies, but rarely are they hits. Old school, I'm in four scenes, but like the f out of nowhere, it, it was on cable for like two weeks. Out of nowhere, like I, I get a check in the mail for like 16 grand. What? You know, I, I mean, I, yeah. Oh, are you not call getting my agent. that business? You gotta oh, be getting this kind geez. of residual. You don't get this kind of residual? No, it's fine. It's fine when I got I mean, so you got, ha <laughs> are you in both? The band hangovers? might be listening. The band's are, you, listening. are you in both hangovers? 
No. You're in one of them. I'm in the first one. Okay. Yeah. And you're in old school Starsky and Hodges. So residual, yeah, yeah. residuals alone, you, you yeah, can yeah. afford no, a better how, shirt. How, I know. I should how did they not make a up. sequel to old school? How did that not happen? You know, too much money. Will I mean, Farrell, I figured Vince that, Vaughn. But Will Farrell and Vince Vaughn right there. You're, I know. But, man, money. was there ever a movie that didn't... I mean, that, that's one of the top five movies to me that didn't get a sequel that didn't get made that would have been a smash no. success. Well, because they all got so famous. They all got yeah. so famous. It's my, my my fee alone would have been broke the money. <laughs> but, 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 17000 I mean, look, Todd's directing fee, Will Farrell. Farrell, Vince Vaughn, all those guys. Yeah, it's, it's too much money. Even Hangover, I remember they were like all unknown guys because yeah, they couldn't Zach and all these guys just blew up. Because yeah. I don't, I think School for Scoundrels didn't do what they wanted it to. Right, so. right, right, yeah. mm -hmm. right. So, well, I mean, you know, so now you got this uh, career going where you're on the road a lot to make money, but you now what kind of film and TV stuff do you still? Do you just uh, you talk about this animated thing with my buddy David Herman. What's oh, what yeah. is that? It's a pilot we did for the Fuse Network that just got turned down two days ago. Oh, it did? I'm <laughs> sorry to bring that up. Too soon, man. I'm sorry to bring <sighs> Did your dog die, too? <laughs> yeah, my dog died. And my grandma's died in the same day. Oh, I'm sorry about it's that. It's all right. I'm Are you mad I don't care. <laughs> but Dave Herman was great. He's the yeah, best Dave Herman's my buddy yeah. from Mad TV, and he did a voice in there. So you got you got other stuff going on. You're keeping yeah, yeah. the We're doing a, hot. I'm doing a wedding album for Comedy Central. It's a... That's all great. covers, but like what these guys want to hear at their wedding, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> well, that sounds funny. Do you yeah, play, no, do you play like weddings it. live? I mean, do you get you must get a lot of that now. We've done it like three times, and it's only I literally do a scary like go to hell quote, and right. if they do it, then I have to do it. And it's been like three NFL guys that have said that right. have actually paid it. And <laughs>